Hi, welcome to Smoking Stinks. My name is Healthy Harold, and I'm a non-smoker. <coughs> Hi, I'm Smoker Sally, and I'm a smoker. We're here to teach you about the harmful effects of tobacco on the human body. Tobacco is a plant that contains a drug called nicotine. People smoke tobacco in the form of cigarettes, cigars, and pipes. They can also chew tobacco leaves or sniff snuff, a dry, powdered form of tobacco that is put up your nose. All forms of tobacco are addictive and cause all sorts of health problems. Get ready to take a tour through our bodies and find out why it's so important to never become a smoker. Click the no smoking sign to continue. I have smoked for many years, and because of it, I have all sorts of health problems. I've also increased my risk of getting cancer. I'm completely smoke-free. Every time Sally shows you the negative impact smoking has had on her, you'll take a tour through my body and see how healthy I am because I'm not a smoker. As you can see just by looking at me, Smoking cigarettes has damaged my skin. I have lots of wrinkles, and I look much older than I really am. My hair is stinky, full of nicotine, and my fingertips are yellow. Harold isn't a smoker like me, so his hair always smells good. His skin is healthy and elastic, and he looks his age. Tobacco has stained my teeth and turned them yellow. Smoking cigarettes gives me bad breath and inhibits my taste buds so that food doesn't taste as good as it should. My gums vary in color from pink to purple because smoking restricts the supply of blood and oxygen. This lack of circulation can cause gum disease. Long-term gum disease can lead to tooth loss. Being a smoker has put me at increased risk of developing all kinds of oral cancers, such as tongue, mouth and lips, and also throat cancer. Now look at Harold. Harold's teeth are sparkly, while his breath is fresh and clean. His gums are pink and healthy. He enjoys the taste of each and every bite of food that he eats and his risk of gum disease and cancer is significantly reduced because he is a non-smoker. The tar that is found in cigarettes coats my lungs like soot in a chimney. That's why they look black. Smoking has affected my lungs and has given me all kinds of problems related to breathing. I feel out of breath from doing simple activities like walking upstairs. I wheeze and I get lots of colds and chest infections. I have chronic bronchitis, a persistent cough which produces a lot of mucus and blocks airflow. I have emphysema, which means that my lung tissue has been destroyed and my lungs are less able to let in fresh air and let out bad air. These are all terrible problems, but the worst thing of all is that I have increased my chances of developing lung cancer. Lung cancer is a terrible disease with little chance of recovery and low survival rates. It is a leading cause of cancer death. Harold is smart to never have started smoking. Look at how pink and healthy his lungs are. They work hard taking in oxygen and blowing off carbon dioxide. I sure wish my lungs looked like Harold's. Even though Harold is a non-smoker, his lungs are still in danger if he breathes in smoke from another person's cigarettes, also called second-hand smoke. Harold tries his best to stay away from smoky places so that he can keep his lungs healthy. Smoking speeds up how fast the heart beats and puts a lot of strain on it. Smoking narrows and blocks blood vessels, 
which reduces the blood supply to the heart. This can lead to a heart attack. When you have a heart attack, this means that some of the muscles in your heart die and don't grow back. Harold is two to three times less likely to have a heart attack because he's a non-smoker. Look how healthy his heart is. It's red, muscular, and hard, and beats regularly. If you know someone who is a smoker, it's important to let them know that it's never too late to quit. No matter how long someone's been smoking, quitting can reduce the chances of having a heart attack. Smoking is an addiction. The drug in tobacco called nicotine is very addictive. When you smoke, nicotine goes into your bloodstream and reaches your brain in a few seconds. Every time you take a puff, your brain gets another dose of nicotine. Nicotine makes smokers feel good for a short time, and then as the nicotine level drops, smokers start to feel jittery. To feel better, smokers light up another cigarette, and then another, and another. Smoking addiction is serious. Not only can it cause a heart attack, like we already talked about, but it can also cause a brain attack, more commonly known as a stroke. A stroke happens because the blood vessels get blocked, and not enough blood travels to the brain, so that parts of it die and stop working. Since Harold doesn't smoke, his brain has plenty of oxygen, so that it's healthy, alive, and works well. As you can see by taking a tour through Sally's body, smoking is really dangerous and can lead to all kinds of health problems. Smoking has put a huge strain on my body and has made me very sick. I wish I never started smoking in the first place so that I can be healthy and happy like Harold. The message is clear. Say, Say no, no to, to smoking. smoking. Thank you.